cue, dramatic video from Brentwood where crews have been working to clear two massive trees that toppled, taking down multiple power lines. Thousands of customers lost power for hours. And the cleanup is far from over. KTLA's Rachel Menatoff live in Brentwood where crews are still trying to repair the damage. Rachel. Micah Share, good evening to you both. DWP has been out here all day long working in the rain to restore power. Those trees were about 80 feet tall and knocked out entire power poles, which is what these crews here behind us are attempting to stabilize. People who live in this neighborhood say it's really a miracle that no one was injured today. Watch out, watch out. A moment of sheer panic as one of two eucalyptus trees comes crashing down, taking six power poles along with it, narrowly missing Stephanie Z. She was in her car, charging her phone since the house was without power. KTLA's Eric Spillman caught up with her moments later. While I was sitting in my phone, this other tree came down and thank God it fell this way towards sunset instead of falling on me and killing me in my car. Neighbors like Matthew Sugarman say DWP crews were actually assessing the damage done by this massive down tree when the second one apparently uprooted. Around 6 a.m., uh, the first tree fell about 80 feet tall, hit the power lines, and we heard a loud explosion outside, and there was a big flash. And then about two hours later, when we were standing outside watching, the second tree next to it fell. The impact knocked out power to a few thousand customers. North Bundy was cut off to traffic, and people had to walk to get out of the area. I mean, not having power is not that big a deal, but not being able to get out in case of an emergency, that's, that's the real issue. It's a safety issue. These root systems unable to withstand the tremendous amount of rain, which has saturated the ground. We all knew this was going to happen. Everyone knew but the city. Longtime resident David Davudian says he's been asking the city to do something about the fragile eucalyptus for a while. The last time the city told me before the end of 2022, you are on schedule for a trimming of this tree. That was over a year ago. They never showed up. And and now we got this disaster. And crews have dissected the tree and they're cleaning up the remnants of it. There is still a lot of debris on the street, though. One piece of good news is that most residents north of Bundy now have their power back on tonight. We're live in Brentwood. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Share Micah back to you in the studio.